Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Thursday. I forgot what day it is. Uh, the Thursday live stream. Today is a little bit different. Normally, we stream on Fridays, uh, but as this is moving season, uh, I moved last Friday. Andrew is moving tomorrow. this Friday, yeah. tomorrow. Uh, so we kicked the stream up to a Thursday as our little whimsical uh, start screen says, hopefully everything goes well on this stream, you know, absolutely knock on wood. Our previous stream to things outside of our control decided to break on us. Um, I'm just more or less rambling right now because again, we had to rechange up a lot of our audio setup and things. So I'm waiting for Chris to give me the thumbs up. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, I see it up on the little meter. Perfect. All right. So, welcome again. Uh, just a quick preface. Uh, this is still, if you guys are joining us now, this is still within the apocalyptic times of 2020, <laughs> in the early 2020. I don't know what that mean, is going to mean in late 2020, if it's going to be a Hopefully it ends in 2020. Hopefully it ends in 20. But uh, it's still within the uh, whole pandemic uh, rules and things to that effect. So, uh, I am sitting on this side of our very, very large table. Andrew is over there. If Chris can switch over to the Andrew cam. All right. There we go. So Andrew's over there. Uh, we measured earlier. We are about eight feet apart. Yeah. Uh, a little bit a little bit less, actually. But, uh, <coughs> yeah. Hey, it's still above six, so yeah, it's right. okay. Uh, so I have my parts sitting on my side of the desk. Andrew has his. Uh, when we're going to be handing things back and forth, it's going to go kind of in the middle of the table. You guys probably won't see that. You may have a little uh, rustling of the uh, noise and things as our microphone is kind of split between us here and facing directly at where we move things. So we do apologize for uh, any noise or anything to that effect. And with that disclaimer, uh, we are probably not going to mention anything of it because everyone is probably sick of hearing of the uh, C word that we will not mention because YouTube likes to uh, basically ban things when that word is said. So we're going to hold off on that. I think that's why our last stream was, was screwed up. Human malware. Yes. Yes. It's because we mentioned the word and I still have not gotten a haircut. So I'm going to pass it on over to Andrew, who's going to give the quick little rundown here of what this system is. This is Eureka. Yep, so this is a business operations workstation. So a lot of the tasks that's going to be handling is just programs to run businesses. So everything from Chrome to Microsoft Teams, maybe some Outlook, um, all the way into Adobe programs. Uh, definitely some, I think it said Illustrator, different, different things like that. So it's going to be centered around a Ryzen 9 3900X, which Connor has over on his side because he's doing motherboard and motherboard installations. Nine, not six. Nine, not six. They don't make Ryzen 6. <laughs> they don't make Ryzen 6. Which is a good thing. Um, so 3900X has 12 cores, 24 threads, uh, and it boosts all the way up to like, what, like 4.4 gigahertz, 4.1, something I think like that. that is. Uh, anyway, so that will be cooled by a. I have this on my side, an EVGA CLC 360. So this is a triple 120 uh, closed loop cooler. 4.6 actually. It says, it says actually on 6. the sticker. Oh, that's single core though. Yeah, um, that's single core. Anyway, this will keep that nice and cool with these lovely Fantex fans we have to put on it. We'll be installing this in, not the Gigabyte board we have listed on the website, is actually an MSI Mag X570 Unify board, which Connor also has. Uh, so this is it's got good VRMs to keep everything, all the power flowing nice and smooth. It's got plenty of expansion slots, plenty of memory slots. Uh, yeah, good board. Uh, to go with that, we have 2x16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 3200. So to keep things that you're working on in storage, all active the memory, all the memory. 32 gigs is a lot. That's what I have at home, and I've, I think the most I've used is like 18. And that was just <laughs> and it's all Chrome, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was not closing anything. Um, so for storage, we have an HP 512 gigabyte NVMe, so that will get you some nice read speeds. It's like three gigabytes a second read and we'll go like 2,500 meg megabytes a second writes. Uh, video card, EVGA RTX 2080 Super, which is actually in the middle over here. That is a hybrid oh, cool yeah, card. It uh, it's in the middle because we don't know who's going to get that first to <laughs> install it. Um, to power all this, we have a Seasonic Focus Gold. Uh, actually, no, we don't have that because it was out of stock. Yeah. Dang website. I'm reading off our own website. 
Instead, we have the Corsair RMX, RMX 850 watt. It's actually the same unit in my personal computer at home. And uh, one of the things I love about it is the fan won't even turn on until you get over like 400 watts pulled from the wall, which is a lot of freaking power. Uh, so it's very quiet, very silent with that reliable power delivery. All this is being installed in a Fractal R6, and that is a very quiet uh, workstation oriented case. Um, it's heavy because all the sound dampening in it. And uh, yeah, so it's the ideal for like a bedroom or a common space use. <coughs> Excuse me. And then like I said, we have some Fantex fans to be installed in that too. So that is all the hardware. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll get started. So the motherboard came with an installation guide, a quick installation guide. Yeah. Which is funny because this motherboard apparently supports AMD TR4. And, and it also supports all of the Intel chips. Well, okay, so to be fair, I think that's just a generic guide that they should. It's just so funny because it's like, hey, it's you just ship... I, it's a pretty good guide actually. Yeah, you just ship the same guide with all your boards and But for some reason, this is what ticks me off. They they the step number 1 is for to this is to install the graphics card is take out the expansion slots. Okay. Step one is to unscrew. Step two is to magically levitate it off of the case. Yeah. Step three is to open the PCIe uh, little like bracket. Mm -hmm. Step four is to install the card. Step five is to <laughs> close the bracket because you know you didn't plug it in all the way. Step six right. is then plug in the power cables, and then step seven is then screw it in. That's not bad. <laughs> and then step eight is shove your. I, I hope you guys can actually see this. Shove your monitor, your speakers, your mouse, and your keyboard into your case. I don't think you guys can probably... It's probably blown out. Yeah, you can't really read it. But yeah, look at that. It literally is just... It's a, it says plug them in. It it's says... Just, it's just a little in. bad graphic. Also, uh, this is our first time using this motherboard, and all of the accessories actually come in a wonderful little Ooh. MSI carrying case. I know, I've never seen it, and that's why I was like, okay, I need to uh, like unbox this on on stream. It's kind of it's kind of cool. Uh, very premium. We're going back to unboxes now. All right. So, basically just a bag with all of the you know, cables and things that are normally in the motherboard box just presented in a really nice way. That is our Wi-Fi dongle. Well, our Wi-Fi antenna, excuse me. Uh, we do not need any of these cables. We do not have any hard drives going in. Nope, nope. And I took the liberty of uh, pulling out most of the cages, just so that they're not in the way during the build. Perfect. And then uh, this is one thing that I want to do on stream, because I harp on this a lot. Uh, there are little peely doos that you must peel. Especially of... over fans. Yes, there are a lot of <laughs> peely doos, doos that you need to peel off. And a lot of people are like, oh, I want to keep it, you know, good for, for later. This one literally covers the fan. On the chipset. On the chipset itself. If like, you're not familiar, if your chipset dies, you're going to have what's called a bad time. <laughs> it's called a very bad time. So, hey, you know, peel off the little protective things, please. It's like buying a car and not driving it because you want it for the resale. Value. It's like it's like not buying a car and keeping the protective cover on the windshield. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now I feel the le the need to give a lesson on chipsets. Or right. hey, the, the you know the, the the dodges you get the little remove by dealer uh, yellow plasticky things that prevent oh, the, the front or, splitter or that everyone likes to keep on. When you buy a mattress, it, it has a tag that uh, do not remove by penalty of law. <laughs> yeah, it's very scary. It's still on my mattress to this day. Is it really? Yeah. It says don't remove. Yeah, but you should remove. That's for the retailer, not for the customer. That's a common misconception. But yes, long story short, please, 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 okay. if you have the little things to peel, peel them because majority of the time they're there for decorative and they're there to cover up something glossy and something to that effect. Uh, they can get fingerprints or smudges on them, but in some cases they are actually they will affect performance drastically. Yes. Um, especially, this CLC is a little bit different. Uh, I think we're on my cam. Nope, we're, there we go, he's on it. So this one has a plastic cover that covers also the mounting hardware. Some of them have a sticker that covers the uh, thermal paste here. And so it's possible to install it without removing that. 
And if you do so, your CPU is going to have the bad time. I had a, I had a buddy that actually did that. He yeah. built his first computer being all, like, thinking he was all awesome and such. And yeah. then, uh, basically, it died. He literally fried the chip. Yeah. Like, the chip died because it was so warm. Yeah, and mod so. modern CPUs have gotten better about protecting themselves, but, like, you don't want to risk it. No. Also, my hair is getting very frustrating. You look like uh, a high schooler. Yes. <laughs> mounting bracket for the... Cooler. Cooler. Is it uses the same backplate, right? Yes. Or yeah, we went through this last week. Yeah, we did. I will put it right. Oh yeah. Mm, spicy. It's in the middle, so Connor can go get it without us interacting. I just want to make sure because I know this is our second time doing this. And I'm putting the fans in the same orientation as the stock ones, so that we don't uh. Have any situations? Yeah, cable. like last. Time. Let me make sure. Okay, yes, the cable. Ooh, cable's cable on the right side. There. Grab that. There we go. Yes. So we do use that. So don't forget, I'm gonna put this back in the center because you need to change out the mounting bracket. Yes. You don't need to do it now because I mean, yeah, I'll be doing. The we can wait and it because the little protective uh, covering does not stay on with the AM4 bracket. Right. My screws in one place here. And I'm going to be tossing in the SSD. The M.2. Thought I unscrewed that screw all the way, apparently not. <laughs> What's good, and what I actually appreciate, I, I, Chris, I really do like this board. Like, I very much like this board. Wow. Uh, the M.2 screws, like the standoffs, are already pre installed. And that's mine, impressive. I think mine had that. Well, my, no, my, no, it came in a tiny little baggie. Yeah, it came in a little baggie. I've used I, a different I'm, board I'm very there. impressed with the presentation that they have of the little bag. Yeah. There's actually a oh. fan on the VRM, which is... Uh, all X570 boards are supposed to have access to it. Supposed to. Yeah, no, the AORS does too. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. I you're just pretty, like the way that that You looks. pretty much have to. You have yeah, to have true. active cooling, because that X570 chipset draws more power than previous ones for the PCI Express 4.0 uh, specification. Uh -huh. So that's why they have to have active cooling. I like this port. It is a nice port. And for those it's who also don't know, sorry, black and lacking of RGBs, which uh, for some folks... No, the dragon lights up. Does it actually? I don't know if it's RGB, but it does light up. Which one? The uh, one on chipset, yeah. Really? That actually does not look like it does. It, shines, is... it like shines through the etching or whatever. That's actually pretty good because you can actually turn that off and. Well, you can turn RGB off and off. Right, but I'm just saying it doesn't look terrible. You know how like the things that are supposed to be RGB and they look like that little are, clear. Are you referring plastic. to are you referring to Strix right now? No, I I am refraining <laughs> from names because so hopefully Strix. we can get a partnership in the future. <laughs> We'll anyway. sit there. Just we sit down with, with Asus and they're like, oh, okay, well, so, uh, we cannot this, actually sponsor you remember because... Remember this moment on uh, May, whatever, today is on that. They're just going to pay this some... time stamp when you uh, talked about our RGB. We're going to pay some poor intern to just go through and watch all of our... Nah, YouTube, YouTube knows what we're saying already. This is true. They could just search it. Yeah. Chris, that's transcription. But now, I think RGBs can be overdone. Uh, I'm just going to throw that out there. Depends on the aesthetic and the use case. <laughs> this is a business operations workstation. So uh, I'm not too sure on uh, not too sure on his priorities, but I feel like functionality first over RGBs. But... Also, this is our first international computer. Is it? No. We shipped others to Canada. No, we haven't. We shipped to California. We shipped to California. Oh, I, this I one's going to Canada. Canada. Yes, this is going to... Uh... So this is our first... Well, it's not going abroad, but it is... Is that broad technically overseas? Yes. But so, if someone wants to study abroad in Canada, they didn't study abroad. Andrew Chen. <laughs> Andrew Chen. What is RGB? Oh yeah, we should uh, no. clarify. What is RGB in this context? So uh, RGB is red, green, blue, and that we That's use it a lot in the PC uh, in kind of PC world as just describing LEDs that have a red, green, and blue LED for each uh, lighting area so that you can create any color from it. So you'll see like this, the fans with spinning rainbows and motherboards and pretty much anything that can be RGB is at this point. Yes, Carl. No. Yeah. What? RGB. Yeah. No, 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 no. See, R RGB okay. is the lifeblood of computers. 
I they, know. That is what makes things. We humans have blood. Computers have RGB. Yes. That is what it is. Well, it's... you get an extra FPS bonus for every RGB light that you have on, or component that you have on your system. Yeah, okay. I mean, uh, so. <laughs> we do have an update priority list, power, and then silent running. Uh, good news, this will do both of those very well without RGB, so. <laughs> Although the, the kind of folk tale is that, uh, what is that? Okay. Red, red makes it run faster, blue makes it run cooler. Cool. Yep. Um, there's one for green too. Green makes it. I think like, it's more efficient. Eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. It's like if eco-friendly or efficient. Yeah. One of the two. Yeah, but yeah, if you there are a lot of rainbow unicorn vomit builds out there. Yes. Where everything they make uh, RGB SSDs, power supply cables. They actually SSDs. They 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 the first generations actually overheat. Yes, I saw that. Because they're what, too. What manufacturer was it again? Oh, Team Group. Yeah. Not to call names. <laughs> was that the, and someone also makes one that's RGB with like an OLED screen so you can put designs on it. It's crazy. But hey, if you want to check out an awesome build that we've done that features RGB in a very tasteful way, you can check out uh, Industrial Strength Awesome. What's because up? that entire computer is RGB. That's not even a computer at this point. That is just a wall. That was a smooth second. That is a load-bearing wall. Load-bearing. <laughs> and we're in scouts. Uh, yeah. Sadly, I was not here to work on that, but uh, it's a crazy PC. You should check it out on our website, topflightpc.com. If you stay here, you'll probably see it again. Yeah, I'm sure I will. <laughs> I'm standing up. We need a forklift to get a thing in there. <laughs> it actually only took four men. <laughs> four men. And um, wait, was it Chris? I think an engine hoist. Did they use? They did not. No, they didn't use an engine hoist. No. They used like, we, we they had to specially build a like mount for it. Yeah, yeah. It it actually it took two Chris's, so that's two Chris power. So that's one man power. One man. Power. <laughs> we like to poke fun at Chris because he can't do anything while we're over here, <laughs> except make mean gestures. <laughs> make mean <laughs> gestures. And threaten to withhold pay. And talk about us in chat in different ways. <laughs> Alright, I'm plugging in two six plus two. <laughs> Do you see this? This hey. is a six plus two and we're putting in two of them. <laughs> for one. Is, is, that, is that for the for the that? Yeah. And two eights for the CPU, I believe. And then Yeah, it's an eight eight plus eight. Eight plus eight. Okay. Ocho plus ocho. And then we also need a SATA harness for the fan. Are we using fan controller? We have three Which fans that will we have one, two, three, four. No, we're good. <laughs> okay, so no SATA harness. Because the three, the three off the CLC will be plugged into the CLC pump. Yep. And then that just leaves three extra, and we have um, four we sitting right here. Plug in one cable for SATA power and SATA data in case we want to add a hard drive. Okay. Hard. Yeah, because this, this case does support a lot of hard drives, <laughs> which can be good for archival storage. So. We'll, we'll plug one in the back. Yeah, I, I think it has four on the harness, so that'll be good. How much would cable cost? Cable man. Depends how many cables. This is on Facebook, so you, you guys are going to see it. Depends on how many cables. Oh, they're asking for a quote on cable management. I nominate Connor. <laughs> I, I'm not what's known as a great cable manager. That's why we have Connor. Connor can attest this. He saw my SSDs in my. <laughs> Those two two and a half inch ones. That, okay, that wasn't. You can't even classify that as installed in your computer hey. because they were <laughs> dangling off of your computer. They were connected. Okay, I want to hear. Yeah, they were connected. <laughs> they were. They may have been dangling by SATA cables uh, up against a window, but you know. I do tech support. I'm fine. Windows. Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. There's also like half the amount of screws in that computer that there should be. Because I just. Can't be ours to go back in the store us. Okay, we have two graphics, uh, six plus twos, and two eights. This will be the first time we don't have to go back to the power supply and reinstall anything. I'm telling you now. Oh, I'm very confident. All right, he's uh, confident. Also, uh, welcome if you're on YouTube, and welcome if you're on Facebook. We should probably clarify that a little bit, uh, as we're answering some questions from one platform and some from the other. So if you are on one of the other platforms and a question gets answered and it's not in the chat, that's probably why. Yeah. 
I only have the YouTube chat pulled open, so. Yep, so we have the YouTube, but Chris, Chris is, is monitoring the uh, Facebook. Well, Connor, Scott, and monitor the... Well, actually, either of your friends can monitor the chat on Facebook. They could. They could. But they could also not. <laughs> if you want to get this done in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> that's always a trick. We are 25 minutes now. Solid. So, Chris is going to be giving us uh, time checks throughout this. We are shooting for a much more manageable one hour, is what our goal is on these kinds of streams. And we have no excuses tonight, because there's only one graphics card, there's no yeah. hard drive, so just SSD. And then I always, you know, uh, reference back to the one time Chris soloed a build, and that took eight hours. That was my first build! Okay. okay. That was your first solo build. Did you? That was, that was, my, that was the first computer I, I, I ever built. How long ago was that? Spring 2014. Oh no 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 the other one. Scarlet Wizard was you and me and I was having a ball. No no the, no the one where you had to like split it up into two streams. Oh. Yeah, you did oh, that one alone. Yeah. Was, <laughs> yeah, Chris that blocked that from his memory. It was oh, yeah. so bad. It was, that was the first time I ever worked. Yep. And, and you did that one alone, I remember Yeah, the that. RGB makes it worse. Do you turn this left? Yes. God. You're still so struggling Dude. on that. Last week, I could not for the life of me. I don't have the finger strength. I'm it's like not, a, no, it, it should, it's just pretty simple. I'm like a little baby. I can't. I think it, it's it's left from the other side. So if you're holding it that way, then turn it right. This? Yes. Turn it's it left right. from holding it like that. So. I don't want to stick my hand on thermal paste. It's also very awkward to grab. He's, he's just here. Set it in the center. Hold on. Don't don't document this weakness. Okay. Yeah. Look. What? Look here. Yeah. You, you just let <laughs> that one launch. <laughs> oh look, it's so easy. You just okay. It, it, well, hey. I'm watching that back when it happens. Here. I know. I kind of want to see it. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> just ding ding ding. Is it just? This shoots across. All right, it's now cooler, we're... man. Okay, we're watching this back. Yeah, okay. we're, we're so there is a delay. There's a heavy delay on yeah, our it's side. It's like 30 seconds or something. Yeah, it's like yeah. a 30 second delay. Is Meanwhile, on. you can look at the Corsair Chia Pet. It's gone. Oh. Already have. Oh no, there it goes. No, it hasn't. No, there I'm comes. not. A, I, we're a little bit. Oh, behind. there, oh, there goes. Yeah, you saw it fly. <laughs> just yeets itself across the. Yeah, so this is the Corsair Chia Pet. You can buy it in hell. <laughs> Ch -ch 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 Chia. Is that trademarked? Probably. Uh, it probably is. It's okay. Right. Um, Demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're never monetized. Okay, make sure that hybrid. Okay, so then. Okay. All right. All right. All right, all right. I will go ahead and like, just open the graphics card. Yeah, um, if you want to toss the power supply in the middle. Here, hold on. I will give you the bracket. Okay. You want to screw on the bracket. That. And let's see if I can find the screws. So uh, I have installed lay motherboard in the black motherboard in the black case. So you guys probably can't see it, and everything is really reflect. Excuse me, reflective. So it's not bad, actually. Is it? No, it's not. I only see just a very small snippet bit of what like you guys see in the. Ten seconds to see it over there. Nice. Well, yeah, that one sounds rough. Taking out the fan controller because we do not need it. So yep. with these, the Fantex cases, one of the reasons why we really love them uh, is they are very versatile. This is uh, a Fantex case. Fractal. Fractal case. Design R6. I looked at the fans and was like, Fantex! <laughs> so we changed out the fan. The Fractal case, not to be confused with Fantex, uh, they always come, well at least this one, uh, comes with a fan controller that has uh, six three pins and three four pins. Yep. So it's a wonderful little versatile thing. We also always save these in case we run into a build where we don't have one. Yep. And the motherboard does not have um, the correct number of ports. Yep. My Generally, motherboard has 12 fan ports. It's amazing. Cases like, you know, or excuse me, not cases, some motherboards we've had have three or less. Yeah. Or less. Generally, it's best to let the motherboard directly control each fan. Um, if you can, so it's preferable. Especially if it's possible. an Asus board, because yeah. they have the whole like Asus AI fan expert fan expert thing. Yeah. 
which is awesome. And the three fans on the cooler will be controlled by the cooler itself. Yep. Because so it can it can ramp those up if only the CPU needs a little more cooling. Uh, it'll turn those up a little bit to compensate for that. I'm going to just start preliminary all right. uh, cable management the bracket and taking is things on. off and getting all the cables uh, oh, oriented. On that. Oh, go ahead and unbox the graphics card. Did you take out all the hard drive base? Uh, there's one or two I thought left ones at the bottom. No, there's zero. Okay, they're over there. They just slide in with a thumb screw. Perfect. Now, I, I just will want to toss one or two in just yeah, as a... Put them in the... It'll probably be easier to manage if you put them in the top so the power supply cables have plenty of room. Yeah. But you do your... By the way, we are going fantastic over here. Fantastic. Uh, so... Could you say it's a... Uh, fantastic? Fantastic. 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 Hashtag not sponsored, but can be fantex. Hit us. <laughs> so, I'm unboxing the graphics card now, so. Oh, I, I remember plugging, uh, oh yeah, the fan port. I remember plugging in my fans on my first PC to Molex. <laughs> Which, if you don't know why that's bad, that means the fan will run at 100% power at all times. That means you're probably not old enough to be on this stream. <laughs> yeah. And no, uh, these fans were uh, came with the $30 case I got. Oh, so baby. they were very lay loud and lay bad. <laughs> just like that. That's a fire hazard um, at that point. Just terrible. Oh, are we going to need one of those fans to be this? Probably. Yes. I feel like the back exhaust is the better one. Because in actuality, it won't make the, uh, That'll be the, the In actuality, it won't make any difference to its placement as long as you have a fan blowing on it. Yeah, no, it'll fit on the back fan. Okay. Chris, any objections? I'm making an uh, executive fan. decision for the graphics card. Graphics hybrid. card. Back fan. Actually, it might look kind of ugly. Actually, no, I think we need to do it up front because the CPU we're going to have the clearance yeah, yeah. between the okay. top there. Yeah. All right. Well, like do. I just added to Connor's work. He has to take out one of those fans. Yeah, now i got to take out your... It's okay. It's not a bad one. No, it's not a bad one. If you didn't make any mistakes, did you really build a computer? <laughs> no. We don't make mistakes. We just make happy accidents. Okay, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. <laughs> So while I'm doing this, let's go ahead and talk about the graphics card again. So this is a 2080 Super by NVIDIA. This is the EVGA, EVGA hybrid cooler. Yeah. Try and talk too fast. Uh, so what that means is it does have a fan on it, almost where you would expect the fan on a blower style car, um, except that it's a hybrid. So when it goes under a heavier load, the uh, fan on the radiator here will kick in and it'll start cooling itself more through that instead of the fan on the curb. So that gives you more uh, quiet performance and uh, nice and cool graphics card because they work pretty hard. All right. There we go. Do you need that fan? Yeah, I got it. Perfect. Pick it up by a tail. And I go. jump in and grab the power supply. Okay, so it's going to go in the front like that. So I should pull through it like this. Uh, <laughs> actually. Let me swap the fans. Yeah. Swap them. I'm going to move this one up because we don't have a lot of clearance in between here. Oh, okay. Um, but I should still pull through it like this. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. And is it going to fit straight up and down or we have to mount it sideways? Just for the case. If you do it sideways, we can fit it in that top one. Well, if I can we do, do it up and down, then I guess we'll swap them. So it doesn't matter. Uh, it's dealer's, which way will look dealer's choice. Dealer's which way will look better? Uh... And they're both behind a wall, so it doesn't matter. True, there is no glass side panel. And there's no side panel. But you should still make it look as good as you can. So I'm going to install it like this. Dealer's choice, basically. <laughs> See, like, I just like looking at my computer so much. I have that big tempered glass side, and it's an open air case. <laughs> tempered it's, glass side. It literally sits on its own table, like, level with me next to my desk. So I, can I don't even it. have... I have zero I just, metal panels in my case. All of them are glass. The back one on mine is metal, but it's... I mean, look, well, yeah. You've seen my case. It's the very, front, the top, the sides. My all case isn't even sealed. Like, it's open air. 
So. Yeah, that would not work in mine because, uh, you know, dust and I have I a mean, dog. I have dust. I don't have a dog, though. So. And I just like fur. to look at it. I also own compressed air. You may not have heard of it. <laughs> no. Is that I also know. LTT branded? No, compressed air. They should get on that. Although I don't... <laughs> it's like... At least here, it's like a restricted item. Like, I went to Staples to buy two cans. And they're like, yeah, we need to see your ID. You have to be over 18 to buy compressed air. Yep, I did. I did for, know that for reasons that I will not be mentioning. Uh, but yeah. Yes. And I think they limit you as how much you can buy a day. Yes. So I was like, bro, it's... Andrew, you may have to move the fan to the other side, depending if it, if it can bolt on. Um, I don't know how long the hose is. We may need to give you the, the extra inch. Uh, should be fine, because even if we have to do a tubes towards the window. Uh, we can just manage the fan cable around the other side. Okay, well. Yeah, we're good. We'll see if it, if it doesn't, we'll blame Connor. <laughs> if it doesn't, we'll blame Will. He's not here to defend himself. Yeah, that's true. Or Chumley, as Chumley. <laughs> that was his nickname. Why? I don't know. Edward gave it to him. <laughs> no idea. And we don't know why. Is it because of his behavior? He doesn't really look like, well, he was getting a little tubby there. <laughs> So really hitting that Taco Bell hard. Let's see if I can manage this. For anyway. everyone that actually remembers Will, Will was uh, the precursor to Andrew. Yep. Pre-upgrade. The, the pre-upgrade. Uh, Will has hence been shipped off to Wyoming and has been covered in snow for the past like. <laughs> have you heard from him? Is he enjoying that? Yeah, I have actually. Uh, he gets on our Discord and, and uh, plays games when he has time. And basically right now he's got nothing but time because there's nothing to do in Wyoming. Yeah, I was going to say, everything's closed. Yeah, they're probably... Uh... Wyoming is like 90% parks and like rec. Because he's and... doing like a training there, right? No, he's stationed there. Oh, he's stationed there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He was in all the RTC, so he doesn't really have to train much more. No. Okay. Yeah, well, he was stationed out there, or is the... stationed out there. And he's doing good Discord. for those that are curious. We Maybe may have to do like a uh, jump on and do like a live stream, like see if we can't figure out how to do a do a podcast. What you yeah? It's, it's how do you not know what a podcast is? I know what a podcast is. Okay, what's a podcast, Chris? Some of those young kids are doing nowadays. Collaborative <laughs> video thing. You just you just get on like a video call and like talk about. Random you know, or... you basically you get Elon Musk on here to uh, <laughs> to to you know do questionable things excuse that take his stock. Excuse then... me, sir, that is illegal in the state of North Carolina. <laughs> yes, it along is. Along with marrying your sister. Also in the state of North Carolina, it's uh, it's actually what you're supposed to do if there's a woman driving a car is the the husband of the relationship is supposed to walk out in front of it with a lantern announcing that it is a woman driving. That is actually a blue law in the state of North Carolina. You're, you're alienating our non-existent female viewer. Yes. This is, this is true. I'm sorry, non-existent. <laughs> no, there's some really that's hilarious those, blue laws. That's one, yeah, that's one of those old, like, oh, yeah. expired, like, weird laws. Like, it's illegal there's also one, ice cream. Yep. Some, um, there's also one in, like, a small town here in North Carolina that you're not allowed to bring a... Uh, Elephant into the movies. I believe that. I don't want to make a noise while I'm trying to watch a movie. And at the same time, in North Carolina, it's also illegal to pedal bike over 281 kilometers per hour. Oh, wow. See, okay, why? I, like, I mean, just who came up with it? What Go. sheriff was just like, you know, 280, that's fine. I don't think sheriffs can make laws. That's good nice. to look at court. Um, yeah, but going still. Off, going <laughs> off a tangent here, my favorite movie theater is uh it's expensive but it's cine bistro and carry yeah it's like a dinner theater but the expensive. yes it is the reason i like them though is that after 6 p.m no children are allowed <laughs> i'm i kind of have this thing where if i'm watching a movie in the theater and anyone is talking i get very upset really okay so i never like confront them but it's just my pet peeve that's fair so like especially if i'm paying cine bistro prices to go see movies and have dinner like yeah, so, yeah I, I enjoy, um, what do you call it, like an adult matinee or something? Not adult rat. Okay, never mind. That sounds bad. <laughs> this is a movie theater. I'm watching Avengers. I'm watching Avengers. <laughs> oh, this is only a six plus eight. Okay. Oh, oh that's still fine. Yes. Chat, Andrew. Chat. 
plus one. I can confirm you have a female viewer right now. Okay. Okay. Well, Connor was the one that isolated, so. <laughs> or alien. Are we gonna have to bring back the point system? We're just gonna have a jar. Chris, every you every time that? you say something. If you say something that is like mean or like sexist or racist, you put five dollars in the jar. <laughs> No, did did you ever hear about the point system? No. So we had a stream with some really it was a really really active chat. Uh huh. Um. And yeah, it was Will and I, uh, and the people that were watching I think were also streamers. They're content creators at the minimum. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, and I, Will said something, and I forgot what it was, and they're like negative one point for blue shirt guy. And I was wearing a blue shirt, I was wearing red. And then it just started this huge thing of like, you know, adding and subtracting points for just random things. Oh, forgot to plug in a cable, negative one Ooh. point. Oh, oh good Spongebob reference. If we make an actual system for that, it would be hilarious. We, we actually have, to... have the capabilities now with the, uh, with Streamlabs. Yeah, you just have to keep a running tally. Like, okay, last week Andrew pulled ahead with uh, four points over Connor's <laughs> negative eight. <laughs> Yeah, Will was like always in the negative though, which is so Oh funny. yeah, well as well. <laughs> so right now we're just waiting on Connor to uh, plug I'm in just lots of plugging in cables. cables. Yeah, to be fair, he has uh, a lot more things to do than I can currently. I also, Chris, heavily like this board because the USB uh, C header is actually in a place that's smart. It's down here in the bottom. Okay, but you know what? Right down here, instead of being stupidly straight up, like, blocking the graphics card. You know what this board doesn't have, and many others do not have that they should? Right angle, 24 pin, and USB 3. Yes. Agreed. That is, should be standard. But I feel like that's just more points of failure, because solder really doesn't hold. It's gotta be less, right? Because, no, you can, you can get it fixed on the board. I mean, you have to. You but... run into less issues with, uh, like, cables, like, bending to death, and... USB 3 this is, is the ugliest connector to have go to your front panel, so. Absolutely. It's always in the It's way. also a big chunk, boy. You can't, yeah, it's super thick, so you can't, like, bend it. Alright, I think I have actually almost all of the cables plugged. Oh, dang it, the front panel connectors. <laughs> the hard no. ones. Yeah. Where's USB? There it is. I will say this case is not cut out for uh, these, because, like, I have to keep reaching connectors. Yeah. It'll be fine once it's plugged in, but yeah, might have been easier to pull this through before you uh, put the board in. Well, no, I was just saying like the cable grommet holes are not in the best oh. like place. I would, I just want an extra one right there. Yeah, which would make a lot more sense. But I know you guys can't see this, and I'm sorry. It's our lack of camera setup right now. <laughs> Usually we have a top cam, but this is top cam, and normal cam is Andrew's cam now. Yeah, because of human malware. <laughs> because. He Malware. That was a term uh, Gamer Nexus was using, especially during the start of this, to describe current conditions. Because they got demonetized a bunch. Yes. Yes, they did. Alright. Front panel connectors. I will say, though, Wait, this... That is a right angle USB 3. Yes, sir. Right about SATA. Oh, shoot! Whoa! Alright, right. we're using this board from now on. <laughs> Chris, change the spec. <laughs> this is a... Go. Can you update every build on the website? Every single... It's taking me a while. Okay, that's fine. We don't mind. <laughs> we don't mind. I find a slightly, a slightly better board, but... I like this board. The only thing that I don't like about it... Uh -huh. They did not include a uh, front panel connector. Oh, converter. the block thing? Yeah. That's... And I, that's I, you optional. Know, I know it's optional, but it's one of those, like, you know... It, it does help, but, like, I feel like I could 3D print some of those, honestly. You probably could. Actually, I know you could. Well, yeah, you just you just have to design it. Yep, no, nope, they don't part. have them. Oh, which is kind of a bummer, but It'll be okay. Especially That's with this good. case, which has every connector under the sun. Yeah. Back in my day, we didn't even have front panel connectors. <laughs> I had like a power and a reset, and that was it. Yeah. Now it's HDD light, power switch, power LED, reset switch. Wait, we don't even need HDD light because this is an SSD. Uh -huh. What does that do? What it's it... drive activity. Oh, oh, it's just drive activity. Plugs in hard drives. No, it's just drive no, activity. Yeah, in I'm general. just joking. Yeah, it's drive activity. It does, in fact, work for NVMe SSDs. But <laughs> <laughs> and now, would it work with you if you just had an Intel Optane drive in there? It's still an SSD. 
What if you installed Windows on a flash drive? I this think is... it would still work. I... You can do it. With what it wait, what is it Windows? Is it Windows operating system go... specific? Because like there... you could run, you could do it on Linux off of like running a uh, flash that's, drive. But that's just a live boot. You can actually install Windows onto a flash drive. It's called Windows to go installation. It's mm -hmm. very hard to do now because they try to lock it down. But you can do it. Actually, I think I have not, that. I, I have that on a flash drive right not now. Not recommended to do because flash drives I have, are I have terrible. many Windows 10 on a flash drive. Yeah, not, not recommended. No. Actually, it works It works pretty decently. Back in the XP, Microsoft had the official, uh, it's called like mini XP or something, which you could boot from a flash drive easily. Andrew, can you move the, the cooler and the video card towards you? Sure. I don't think I'm going to be installing them, or I might, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just get all this in there. That's nice hardware. I actually really like the, uh, we'll see if he switches my camp. Yeah, he's on my camp. So the front of this card, you can see it's kind of like that translucent plastic. Uh, so you can see the pump and the, the board and some VRM. Honestly, when I saw it in the press photos, I hated it. I, I didn't know it was translucent. In the I, I knew it was and translucent, and I when I first like saw it on the press photos i said this is this is ugly yeah and then when i see it in person it's kind of like okay this is pretty good actually. yeah you can even see the uh power pins from the pci express it's a little gnarly i'll stick your finger in there <laughs> each, each one of those connectors is like 300 watts <laughs> yeah all right uh toss me the well, the, i think CPU probably cooler. CPU. yeah i'm yep. gonna say Cool first. I'm gonna slide back. Did, did you? Where'd you put all the screws for that? Oh, you also need the bracket. All right, I hear them. Well, you have, you need that bracket. one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I already have the. Okay. Wait, I have the bracket. Yeah, it was in that bag I put on top of the case. Ah, it is. Yep. With the yes, the bracket that was flung across the room. Yeah. I don't understand why this is like your arch nemesis. <laughs> like you just cannot <laughs> get these things to like clip on. I can't get it off. Yeah. Why is this one not being nice for me? Look at the pot calling the kettle black. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, and Connor and I were talking about this before the show, but uh, show, sure. Yeah, it's a show. <laughs> one of the great features now on these RTX cards is RTX Voice, which could actually be really useful in this uh, application. Yeah, so, we're working on it, but we don't have an RTX No, I meant, I meant for this computer. Oh, usage. yeah. So since it's a business workstation, I would say it's fairly safe to assume they'll be on like voice calls on it like oh, yeah. microsoft teams or slack or uh zoom so um did you oh no okay you just you just froze so perfectly still um, that i thought our stream froze no. <laughs> we are, we are good. i just just looking on the thing though it was just like i just see andrew just like this no i'm just just, just perfectly staring, staring off the... no drops we are Yep. yep, all of a sudden now, just, you know. Perfect. Well, everything's... anyway, um, RTX Voice, for those of you hey, who... Andrew. What? Did you put the fans... Hey, hey Andrew. <laughs> no, I put them on the right way. <laughs> no, you put them on backwards. The cables. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Yes. All right, here, do the video card. See, first. I did the same thing too. I was, I like, was so careful. I, I know, I, you take them off, but the EVGA has them installed this way. Yeah. So you install the cooler actually this way. We're going to do that. It's fine. <laughs> Chris doesn't like it that way. Fine. All right, I'll switch him. Anyway, right. I'm going to keep talking about our check for you. Like yep, I'm going to set this in the middle. Uh, and I'm going to grab the graphics card. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So uh, RTX Voice for this application uses RTX hardware um, in your graphics cards to process your voice and your microphone input. And what it does is it uses, they use, they say it uses AI of uh, algorithm of some sort to remove all the background noise and just other stuff that's not your voice in the audio. Uh, so whether that be keyboard typing, uh, people talking in the background, doors opening and closing, all that good stuff. Uh, so that actually is really useful for business calls, and uh, it makes your voice very clear and not muddled. So uh, I wouldn't surprise if he chooses to use that on this computer for his work. So yeah, that's my sphere that I finally got there. That also helps removing the, the little brackets. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I need to pull out my manual for this one. I need to pull out pull out the <laughs> the MSI manual on how to do this. 
There's no shame in using manual. Oh no, I I have to use it on like the the dark rock coolers. Yeah. Because some of those mounting mechanisms are just really complicated. Yeah, some of them are weird. I still give full points to Noctua for having the best mounting, but. Okay. Not everyone can be like Noctua. And then you have the NZXT coolers, which we don't talk about because we don't use them anymore. Corsairs is not too bad. Corsairs isn't terrible, but some, they can they get have, complicated with other wires. They have some that use the stock AIM-4 bracket thing, and some that don't. Uh, which one? Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Also, gotta find that USB cable for this pump. Yeah. Place down there. Darn it. This is such a weird angle to try to do this at. Okay, we're now flipping the fans and reinstalling again. We just, we just need like a. Uh, we, we need, need a one... diagram. Right. <laughs> we need so I can a diagram. Like, next time I install one of these, I can hold it up against that and be like, did I do this right? No, we need one of those like indie style uh, like air ratcheting like wrenches. And just put like a Phillips head on that, and so it just change out the fans. Just <laughs> <laughs> just do it. Right air. Get an air compressor in the office. Hey, I actually have one. They're really quiet. They're okay, wonderful. you can bring it. <laughs> hey, fun hey. fact. Uh, There's the... also just like electric screwdrivers. Hey, hey Chris. What? The uh, tubes don't reach to the front, so it's got to go on the back. No, can it no, go on the bottom one? We don't. Ha we still don't have enough. We have like two inches. Eh, if I put it at an angle, no, I can that, yeah, get that it works. to like yeah. really fit. Just put it that way. It's not angled. It's just no. I mean sideways. 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 That's the way we did. Uh, it's worked, it's worked on the, past, like, eight builds. the last few builds, we had the tubes up against the side panel, like that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. that's fine. It doesn't make any. Cool we have not used this case in eight times. It's similar. It's the same size. Yeah, because this would have fit if it was the same size. This does not fit. These are these are the fun moments of building a computer. Yeah, nothing ever goes as planned. You just gotta adapt. Yeah, when things say it'll fit, overcome. But you know, yeah. At least you, I, you weren't here for this one, but the one where we had the dual twenty eighty ti. Chris, you remember what? No, it was the quad quad twenty eighty ti or no. 2070 Super. 2070 Super Hybrids. Mm -hmm. And trying to dump all of those rads. That's a lot of video card, yeah. And those are still uh, dual slot cards. Mm -hmm. So I figured it out, and, and I was trying to tell you and Will how it was going to work, and Will was having issues. Will was, Will was having issues. Will did have issues. Continue. Yeah. That was a long, long stream. I think it was like an hour and a half. Yeah, and... That's an hour of that was us trying to figure out this dumb like radiator placement. To, to be fair to us recently, it's easier when you can both work on the case at the same time. Yeah. And it's easier when you don't have to reinstall rad fans because you're a dummy. <laughs> but, yeah. At least you're doing that while I'm doing this. So. Yeah. It's not really time lost. No, it's, it's, it's not, actually. Otherwise, I would have been sitting here. Yeah. Probably That's talking about why Intel used to have a South Ridge and a North Ridge. It's an interesting story. Not really. Okay, fans are reinstalled. I can probably go ahead and plug them into the pump and manage it a little bit too. Yeah, most definitely you can. Alright. I need my screwdriver. Yeah, like we mentioned earlier, these, uh. Actually, can I? No, because this will be managed to a different hole than the fan cables will. So I can't really plug them in. Okay, never mind. But yeah, the pump will be controlling its own fans on the rad. Okay, so I'm gonna set this back in the middle here. And get this USB cable out for the pump. Yeah, so you can get all the control cables out. Yep. I'll plug it in too. If you guys are just, you folks are just joining us, welcome to the Thursday. Friday that got moved Thursday. up 24 hours early Thursday live stream. Yeah. 
We promise we'll go back to a normal schedule soon. <laughs> and soon, I mean, I probably, probably never, let's be honest. <laughs> this is just <clears throat> how it is now. We just roll a dice and then pick a pick a dice. We just we just roll d twenties at the beginning of the month. <laughs> d twenty. Like, wow, what what days are we gonna build computers on? Roll a d twenty and a d ten. Yep. Were you were you in that game art design class over the summer like three years ago? I I know which one you're talking about. Oh, it was so good. Minusos? It was Sutton Minusos. We played D and D for three hours that night. That was the class. This class met once a week. And we just played D&D. &D. It was hilarious. Um, there was another one actually last summer that, and this was actually stupid impressive, Minusos ran a one-shot campaign with 26 students. That was my class. Last last summer? No, this was like three summers. No, ago. yeah, this one was last summer. He did a but one... that's, that's what we did, though. Yeah. Hey, look, we didn't need this extra power cable. Oh. No, the SATA one? No, the extra graphics card because it's an 8 plus 6. Yeah. I ran two... Six plus twos. And two eight pins. CPUs. Yeah, we have an extra one. There's not an extra one. There's an extra one. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now you see what I mean? Hey, we didn't have to plug anything extra. No. We could just, just leave it there. But... Gotta unplug it. Which is not too terrible. Alright, let me try to get this. No horse doctor tonight. No. But yeah, we just. We each got a D20. And we kind of like voted on what actions we wanted to do. I think we were like a swarm of goblins or something. There's like 20, 25 of us. It was pretty interesting. <laughs> Fun times. It was game art and design. It's fun. This is a two man job that Connor's now doing. Yeah. Work. I'm trying to like solo this. You want me to read you the instructions? Uh, yeah, I would love for you to actually. Uh, I need, no, I actually need Step the Step one screws. backplate installation. Do you have the. Where do I? those yeah can you take them out of the thing because i'm literally holding this on <laughs> i guess you just need the thumb nuts or yeah. you need okay yeah. Yeah, the long reach <clears throat> Second one backplate installation oh uh, yep uh, forgot about that one darn if you're an intel lga 1150x or 1366 user please put part g on the back of the motherboard Part G is this one. <laughs> He's literally going through. Slide standoffs to line up with the cooler mounting hole in your motherboard. Please skip this step for LGA 2011 and AMD motherboards. Backplates are not used for LGA 2011 and AMD backplates are supplied with the motherboard. Step two. Well, ne what? Oh, I was like, Next, screw the standoff into the backplate of the motherboard for LGA 1150X and LGA 1366 sockets. Please. Please use the M3 thread, part B. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't think people came to the stream to watch uh, you read a manual. They're not watching, they're listening. <laughs> this is the content. This is the follow along this part is the of the content. stream. I can read you the warranty information instead. Please uh, don't. I'll, I'll TLDR it. Five year warranty. Five year warranty. There you go. That works. All right. All right. I need the mounting screws for these. The mm -hmm. rad mounting screws? Yeah. Well, I think it's really you have all the screws. They don't come with the... Yeah, they do. Well, then weren't they in that bag that I threw you over there with the back plate? I tossed it back to you because you have the mounting... You... Oh, nope. I got them right here. Yes. They're yes, sitting right this there. Guy. No, wait. Just wait. Hour. Just under an hour? You got two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> just, like, <laughs> shove it all in there. Is it plugged in? Yeah, mostly. All right. An hour is... It's more of a guideline, like a speed limit. You can it, go it's, over. Yeah. You can go like 20% over. It's a recommendation. Yeah, speed limits are optional. Speed limits especially are right, Especially right For now. For legal reasons, this is a joke. <laughs> yes. Although I heard right now they won't pull you over because they don't want to get human malware from doing traffic. Okay, so there's actually there's a, there's a group that I follow uh, on YouTube. that They're called Cannonballers. Mm -hmm. And they go from New York to... California. There's two movies. That's like 3,000 yeah. miles or more. Yes. And yeah. they try to do it in the fastest amount of time possible. Oh, goodness. And there's a one guy that did it. They did it in, um, like, the 80s. <laughs> and he did 30, 31 hours. Was it for Reynolds and Cannonball Run? Well, yeah, they had made a movie. Yeah, I was going to say, I've heard a movie about um, this. 
But then Ed Bullion did it in 27 hours in 2013. And then just this past like few weeks, oh, yeah, in these past few weeks, seven people have beaten that. And the new record is like, I think, 26 hours? Yeah, because no one's pulling people over. Because no one's right pulling now. people over right now. So, I oh mean, it's like God. the perfect time to be doing the cannonball runs. Yeah, and to clarify again, we do not endorse this in any way, shape, or form. No, it's, it's cool, but. Uh, yeah. Yes, for legal reasons, this is a joke, and uh, we're talking about the movie. <laughs> yeah, sure. Look, how fast were they going that whole time? 120 is what they averaged. Average, and that Average. is including stops. stops. Yeah. Well, I, at that point, you don't really have to stop if you plan carefully. Well, they ha they had marine fuel tanks in the back for fuel, but you know. Um. Yeah, you don't have to stop if you plan carefully. Once, I think you still will have to stop for gas eventually. Uh, no one's well. No one's actually done the mobile. You know how they have those Air Force right planes now. that refuel in the mobile. Yeah, the mobile refuel. No one's done that one yet, but yeah, you get one of those. Now just screwing in the radiator. I just realized something else this board has that's very nice. Uh, it has, looks like BIOS flashback and uh, flashing without um, needing to have a CPU installed because it has those buttons on the back and a special port. Uh, and that's really useful because if you have any, let's see, if you have a newer chip, so let's say Ryzen 4000 comes out soon and you didn't update the BIOS, which we do on all our customer machines, but if you didn't, um, you would have to do a BIOS update before that. And to do that, you need an older CPU that was around when the board came out. Yep, which we have, but... Yeah, this isn't an issue for us, but just <laughs> for the average builder, um, if you didn't have an older CPU, it can be a pain to get a hold of one for 10 minutes of work. So, yep. Yeah, that's actually a very nice feature to have. And yep. it helps you, if something happens to your BIOS and it corrupts, you can recover it that way yep. and not break your motherboard. So, yeah. Don't mess with BIOSes if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> this is that is that is my high recommendation. Yeah, and this is at home. I have a, a UPS that's a big, basically a big power ship with a big battery strapped to it. Yeah. Uh, so that if the power goes out at home while I'm doing something critical like that, uh, it, the power doesn't actually go out for me. For I like just I actually just re uh, bought a new battery for my UPS because it was yeah. completely dead. Yeah, I have two of them actually. One's on my uh, computer setup and one's on my 3D printer. I have a UPS for my UPS. <laughs> you, you say that, but I've considered it now. Uh, my 3D printer is also on because its power flickers. It loses its job and it's like, yeah. if you're halfway through a day long train, it sucks. I mean, you, uh, so UPS, for those out there that do not know, is Uninterrupted Power Supply. United Parcel Service. United Parcel Service. Um, yeah, Uninterruptible Power Supply. Basically, what it is is it just. it charges a battery yeah and then it uses the battery to then power the power strip so it's a it's so, a way to get clean energy if you wanted to yes and then also when the power goes out then you now have still have power to your computer for a few minutes yeah and one good thing to note um it doesn't always run off the battery power so when your ac is ac voltage is working normally it just runs it through a filter um because if you ran charging and discharging battery all the time it would die very quickly um it has a internal uh switch what's it called a relay relay and it, you can actually hear it click if your power goes out where it switches over to that battery power instantly with no interruptions hence uninterruptible indeed they're wonderful buy them indeed. they're a little bit expensive but you should buy them if you run it's, any sort of computer because yeah, it will also it is also a power surge you can like, get them for 50 bucks a, a yeah. decent one for computer. you can also go to battery stores and things because they have a bunch of them sitting in the back and then you can just buy yeah. a basic battery and this is it's not to continue working um the intended use is to save all your work and safely shut down the machine especially for servers servers pretty much always have a ups uh mainly because they're running complex raid arrays and drives need to be correctly shut down and spin down all that good stuff so it's it's something that in the enterprise space, every server has backup power. Yes, absolutely it does. All right, I actually have to take this off the top rad uh, panel because I can't get to the... Uh, I did, did not plug in the CPU oh. controller. But that whole panel comes off, right? Yeah, it does. Not, okay. I did not could plug in the one cable to motherboard. Poor like Chris has got dinner waiting at home. He's oh like, oh man, God. these guys. Hour and two. Hour and two. It's fine. It would have been probably actually no it wouldn't have been any faster if we screwed the fans and i put this on no it would have been faster if we were both working in the case at the same time but 
But we can't do that. Yeah, we're being responsible. Just a lot of struggle with this. On stream. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's honestly what's what's happening. It's now the struggle stream, the struggle bus. Struggle bus. I'm the conductor of the struggle bus. Is that is that what you call? It? No, it's just a bus driver. It's just a bus driver. How come trains get out conductors, but buses have drivers? Uh, because you drive a bus and you you drive a train. a train. You conduct it's the same train. thing. I guess you don't have a steering wheel, really. <laughs> That'd be interesting. <laughs> Hey, that works a lot better. Hey, you can plug it in without shredding his fingers. Yeah. So make sure you're on a CPU header there, not yes, it, CPU it opt or pump or AIO pump or AIO pump opt. I've, I've done that a few times. Yeah. Not on actual I builds, this. but I've, I've done that on my own system. Oh yeah, after I got my 3700X, I plugged the stock cooler into uh, AIO pump and it ran very loudly and I was very <laughs> confused. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. was some interference fit with the cables. I won. <laughs> <laughs> what he means is he carefully managed and placed them so he didn't have to force anything. No, it was the uh, CPU power was in the way. Gotcha. No one was fired during the filming spell. No, we get fired after. Yeah, we get... <laughs> Chris doesn't want to make a scene. Exactly. It's not good business. No. That's why, that's why uh, Will, we actually just made a very... Uh, elaborate cover-up story. He was actually just aggressively fired. Oh, yeah, by he got, yeah, he got fired. And then we actually shipped him out to Wyoming. And to then yeah, tied to shame. <laughs> it's the long con, you know, to like make it more believable. Change his name. Change his identity. Grew a beard. <laughs> he he was going to be it for a while there. I'm sure he had to shave it. Oh yeah, he absolutely did. It looks like we're starting a near completion here. It's just plugging in the last few. Yeah, uh, it'll like literally pump, just be this and pump uh, USB, and then we'll give our ye old uh, post. Make sure everything works. Oh, go ahead and take the power cable out. Yeah, knock my camera over. Hey, don't. <laughs> yeah, this power cord. If, if like, going to knock the camera over, don't. That's simple. <laughs> If you do, at least make sure that we have it on the stream. Yeah, get on the other camera. Okay. That's, a, that's our rule with breaking hardware. If you're going to break it, at least get it on video. Yeah. No, we don't break hardware. Never. Uh, never have. Never. Actually, I don't... Uh, yeah, never. never. I'm not going to say that. I was going to say, I don't think we've actually... This is why Will is going... We've had a few DOAs, but... Yeah, that's not... DOAs happen. That stands for dead on arrival for you uh, non... Shipping logistics oriented people. <laughs> That's what I thought. I mean, it's there, one there of might be books. someone who works for uh, USPS who knows those things or buys a lot of computer parts online. If I had a dollar for every new bag box I've gotten or Amazon box with computer parts, I would. I wouldn't be doing build. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you would have a lot. Yeah. I would have a lot. Yeah. If you Chris, see some wall of RTX. There's some there's some guy at the Amazon warehouse. I see another Chris order with more RTX cards. <laughs> yeah. What is this guy doing? They just have a Chris section. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, he's got two more 2080 Ti's today. Which, for those of you who don't know, those cards start at eleven hundred dollars and go up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we have. I, I saw one on sale yesterday for eleven hundred. That's the lowest I've seen. There's two. Right beside you, Andrew. These are empty. Well, yeah, I hope so. No, we just keep that in stock. Yeah. You know. I carry these with me. They're my personal RTX 20 ATIs. There's another one there. There's one there. There. A lot of graphics. A lot of, a lot <laughs> many of, ray tracings. A lot of CUDAs. Many CUDA. Many memory. But have called? you seen the new uh, the PlayStation 5 Unreal? No, I, I saw oh, people talking about it, but holy free holy, but, oh, that yeah. looks amazing. I'm sure it looks great. And one advantage consoles can sometimes have is they know exactly what the hardware is going to be, 
so they can play in very well for the limits of that. Well, so, I mean, it was also them just playing Unreal 5. Yeah, yeah. And that has a whole other advancement, so, right. you know, you have not watched it. I think... Holy free holy, go watch it. It is insane. Isn't the PS4's APU um, the equivalent of, like, an RX, like, 470 or 480? Yeah, 470, I think. Is okay. what it is. That's what I thought it was, too. But, yeah. This new one is apparently... Ryzen or uh, Vega, I think. Yeah, it's Vega. I think it's Vega. it's a it's it has Vega integrated graphics. It's an APU. Yeah. Um, an APU is just a uh, it's a CPU with graphics chip built into the die. So, not not of course as strong as pretty much any decent computer, but you know consoles have their advantages. They're also. actually, I mean, it's pretty. It's, they're pretty decent. Most consoles are sold at a loss. So that they can sell you more software for it and make their profit that way. Mind you, I will say they are pretty decent because of you know this next gen of, of yeah, hardware but coming, which is literally on the bleeding edge. Yeah, but it's easy to dump strong consoles as PC elitist, but you know, try not to do it too much. <laughs> Feel bad for them. Haha, <laughs> there's one. <laughs> Man, we just lost all of our console views. <laughs> yeah, like we had any. I have an Xbox One S at home. It's a Hi. Netflix machine. I'm, almost, I'm just finishing up cable, man. He's doing cable. Actually, I'm plugged in 24 pin. That's I important. Know. That's the last thing that gets plugged in because it's a giant connector. Big old cable. And it's good to block other smaller cables with it. That's true. Um, we need to get those RGB 24 pin extensions. I don't know. I did buy, <laughs> I did actually just get a... I saw them at Micro Center when I went in Boston. They had them there. Oh, the I, I the Lee and Lee ones? Yeah, it was Lee and Lee. I honestly wanted to buy them. It just lays over your 24 pin, so it's not like a real cable. It's not like the cable has RGB, but it's a cable. You know. But still, it looks, looks pretty cool. It does. It's like 40 bucks though, for a 24 pin. I was like, mm, eh. Well, it's not even. It's just a 24 pin extension. Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. What? What? I'm trying to miss out. It's just I, we just hear him talk. And <laughs> he's looking at the back of the stream PC. I work to add Twitch to the uh, multi stream. The, yeah, I'm sure but I need fine. another monitor to monitor the chat because I can't monitor. It if I can. You can split. you can pop out chat and make it like this wide. Yeah, and you can also yeah. split it. I could just, yeah, I, I, I could. You can pop out chat. Twitch it. on one monitor. Yeah. Right? You can put all three on one monitor if you're determined. Yeah, you really could. Yeah. Oh gosh, how is Chris gonna function if he doesn't have 19 monitors? <laughs> right, Connor's just finishing up some zip ties right now. Looks good. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's gonna be it. Yeah. All, all right. right. Very clean in the back. The usual. Yeah, it is very heavy. nice. The case Super was heavy runs. before we put hardware in it. Once the side panels are on, it'll be heavier again. Indeed. All right, and then actually, all of these panels are like stupid heavy because they're all sound dampening, I mean, and they're just like steel, <laughs> like or aluminum. It's just solid. I yeah. wish we had another case to like compare it to, like another side panel, but we don't. Yeah. It's... At least sitting over here, they are. Um, with, with the water They're cooling warm. and the Fantex fans and the sound deadening, my expectation is when this thing's under full load, you'll like have to listen to be able to hear it. It, oh, it, wait, it gets quiet. Doing it backwards? No, I was going to say, can we, we can't actually put this one up here. What do you mean? What? How are we going to get airflow out of that? You think the, um, there should be a mesh option. Yeah, I thought there was. There, there is. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. It just unclips. Okay. I was like, ugh. <laughs> we can do it. Oh, we, we can, can do, do it off stream. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. All right. There is a front panel filter thing. Yeah, filter it's a door thing. swings. Yeah, which one? side is it? Is that side? That side? Is it push? This one. This is right here. Ah, they have a little handhold on this side too, so yeah. I was like, oh. it's a fake. It's fake. Hard. They faked me out. There we go. Careful to them. All right, so, oh, there is an EVGA peel left on the CPU. We also I took it off the block. Oh, okay, that one. That one's a nice one. 
Is he falling off the block? Yeah. Awesome. He did. All right. Extension cable. Let's see if Video I actually... playback interrupted. Please try again. Uh oh. Uh, let me refresh. Did it die literally right as we were? That's just us covering up. Video unavailable. Chris. Chris. What? Uh, we have you video unavailable YouTube on YouTube. YouTube broke. No, I'm getting an excellent connection. Uh, uh, I'm trying it's, to refresh it's, it. It's a Chromebook. Oh, it's back. It's back. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Chromebook. One day we'll be able to afford a better PC for this. Well, it's not even that. It's just we don't feel like taking the effort. PC. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did I do it? I think you have to hold it longer. Nope. 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 Did I plug in the front panel connectors wrong? I probably did. I think the bottom right is usually uh, power. Of says power ejector. I'm going to turn off the power this time. Well, actually, I do that every time, but. <laughs> yeah. Also, make, make sure your 24 pin 8 pins are all in all the way. Hey, the 24 pin. Oh pins my god. <laughs> no, that's good. When I cable manage it, it always uh. pops out. Don't. The 24 pin wasn't plugged in all the way. Uh, behind the scenes look, last week I spent about an hour debugging because a graphics yeah. cable wasn't plugged in all the way. All right, check your eight pins. Yeah. Now the eight, well, those are stuck up there. <laughs> well, the fun. Actually, it's... all right, eight pins, yes, eight pins. Okay, yeah, I mean, cannot see the panel. Oh, you can use the onboard power switch. Oh, this is also true. But I don't know if we're getting... Let's see. Is that even... cable actually plugged? Not... <laughs> I didn't unplug it. The cable was not... I was like, I don't even get any motherboard lights on this. I did not unplug this. Oh, hey, look. Now we get a motherboard light, and hey, look. <laughs> oh, look, it turns on now. <laughs> Rule number one in tech support is it plugged in. That's just that's just disappointing. Uh, <laughs> I put weird. it in, I'm like, wait a second. We are true. Right, well, Andrew and I both at the same time, we were just following the cable with our eyes, and we just came to the same conclusion. I didn't unplug it last time. Not so. plugged in. Jeez. Okay, well. Probably still posting. Yep, we're at code post code takes, 62A202. It takes us time to do uh, memory training. It takes a first, while. On the memory. first boot. First boot only. After it configures itself in the BIOS, it'll be fine. But basically, it says to figure out what memory you gave it, what CPU you gave it, how to run those, voltage, all that good stuff. There we go. All right, post boot. Yep. Cool. All right, everyone. So this has been... Eureka, which has been our Thursday afternoon. Yeah, it's still evening. afternoon. Uh, no, it's approaching afternoon. night. Yeah, uh, it's live evening. stream. Evening. Evening. Yes. Thank you all for joining us. We may have a build next week. Question mark. Uh, we'll well, see. Follow us on Facebook if you want to. Uh, always be updated. Yeah, always be updated with the builds that we are coming. Or you can click subscribe if you are on YouTube because Chris makes events that we destroy sometimes, every single time because we don't know how youtube actually no we've been running into some issues where you have to stop the stream to then change something and restart it and then deletes the event which is slightly aggravating. it just makes a new one yeah yeah it makes a new one so hopefully we'll get that next time yeah, yeah. hopefully next time uh if you guys want to talk about or see some wonderful more memes than what Chris posts every day on the Facebook page. We have a Facebook group called the Top Flight Crew, which is an awesome group of individuals uh, who just basically like to post memes, talk about things. There's very little arguing because we don't really post controversial topics. It uh, top sucks. It <laughs> and then you have Andrew. Um, <laughs> but we typically, yeah. there's very, very little uh, drama and things to that effect. Actually, there is no drama. Let me rephrase that. We are weird zero drama. Uh, it is also a great place for some basic tech support as well, as we have about, what, 1,200 now? They're approaching? I don't know. We have a lot of members in there. I, it, yeah. 
And there's buy sell trades uh, group. There well. is also a buy sell trade group if you're looking for deals or looking to offload some hardware and things to that effect. Or onload hardware. Or onload hardware. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. And if you want to check out some other builds that we have done, there are links. If you are on YouTube, probably down there next to the subscribe button, there you can click on our page and go back and see all of our previous builds. If you are on Facebook, I have no idea where they are. But they're on Facebook. They're on our page, at least. I just don't know what relation they are into you all. You can also check out, if you want a more, uh, I guess, reader-friendly way, you can check out our website which is topflightpc.com and you can go up to the showcase is it previous builds previous builds you, you keep changing on previous work i thought yeah it, that was previous work yeah see keep i'm changing. checking it used to be showcase keep, just keep going i'm checking and you can jump on that website and check out our previous builds and if right. you are what is it previous, previous work? work yeah was so right. it's previous work there you go <laughs> This is just, this is a terrible outro. Yeah, this right. is Going just going everywhere at this so point. Anyway. So I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night.